uh, playing into the, uh, our outreach in the 600 foot uh, study corridor that we uh, introduced to the community. Uh, back in uh, uh, the third and fourth quarter of last year, we sent out landowner letters uh, to landowners along the utility corridor, uh, introducing the project and then asking for survey permission. That survey permission allows us to get boots on the ground, again, to do the necessary environmental and cultural research that we need to do that enables us to put that information into an application and ultimately file with FERC. The fourth quarter of 2014, we held landowner informational meetings. Again, to be transparent and, trans and straightforward, we wanted to make sure that we could uh, get the project information out to landowners in a timely manner. The LIMs, as we refer to them as, are voluntary, and uh, they were sponsored by Structure Energy in the last quarter of 2014. FERC, in uh, January of 2015, uh, granted the project approval to enter into the pre-filing process under the National Environmental Protection Act. I like to refer to it as the pre-season pre uh, spring training in baseball, where we come out and everybody suits up and we begin the outreach. Basically, this is a collaborative uh, pre-filing application process which allows landowners, uh, local officials, stakeholders, to review the project information initially and to identify any issues or concerns prior to us filing an application with FERC, which we hope to do at the end of the year. Following along in the timeline, FERC expects to hold scoping meetings uh, in March and April of this year. Uh, they will uh, invite the public in and comments will be read into the record. And once that scoping st uh, session is closed, FERC will uh, respond to all those uh, concerns uh, in writing uh, for the record. Uh, following that, uh, we hope to uh, submit an application to FERC at the end of this year. And then that begins the formal review process, which is another 12 months. And then we're hoping uh, that FERC would issue a decision uh, December 2016, granting us uh, authority to move forward with the project. And then construction would be in 2017 in service November 2017. Just summarizing where we are to date on our outreach uh, with Star County, we began our outreach back in 2013-2014. We held our landowner meetings October 8th. Uh, we've had some outreach uh, with the uh, Stock Oil and Gas Partnership as well as Stock State College, which why, by the way we think is a world-class uh, oil and gas program. Uh, where uh, we definitely, you know, their resources, uh, the curriculum. Uh, we certainly hope we can continue that dialogue uh, as the project moves forward. We've had official uh, briefings uh, the week of October 26th, not only with Stock and Summit County, but other counties in an effort to make sure we're getting an updated information out uh, to elected officials. We held our open house on February 9th, and uh, Again, we're here today again, to brief the commission, and we certainly will be happy to come back. Anytime.